you, uh, Mr Rossendell, and it's a pleasure serving under your chairmanship. And I'd like to congratulate the Honourable Member for uh, securing this debate. I knew it would be well attended after having seen that the Harvey's Law Petition has now passed well over 122,000 signatures. Um, and it really does so show the strength of feeling on this very emotional but this very important subject. Uh, Mr Rossendell, I'd particularly like to thank my constituent, uh, Linda from Bolster Moor near Huddersfield, for getting me on board with this campaign. We are a nation of animal lovers and we must put a stop to this extra heartache, this extra frustration and this extra distress when a much-loved family pet is tragically killed on our roads. As we've heard, Harvey's Law has three simple and straightforward requests. For the Highways Agency to ensure compulsory scanning of all domestic animals retrieved from the highways, for a log report to be passed to local police and dog wardens, and for photographs to be held for ID purposes. These are straightforward, low-cost, but most importantly, humane and the right thing to do. From April 2016, all dogs will be compulsory microchipped, so it seems straightforward and reasonable that given the technology will be there, that we use this to give pet owners the peace of mind that if a tragedy occurs, that the owners will be informed as soon as possible, leaving no uncertainty and compassionately respecting owners' rights. In the past few months, I've submitted a series of written parliamentary questions to the Secretary of State for Transport, and I'd like to thank the Minister here for his replies. I was told the Highways Agency is currently assessing the potential merits of amending contracts to understand the implications of including mandatory identification and recording of domestic animals found on the strategic road network, including contacting pet owners where possible and advising relevant registration organisations. So I look forward to an update from the Minister on those assessments. I was also informed that the Highways Agency Network Management Manual 2009 sets out procedures for notifying owners of canines that are killed on the strategic road network for a number of highways agency area maintenance contracts. These contracts are due to be phased out, which will result in a different approach in dealing with canine fatalities across the strategic road network, as the replacement contracts no longer mandate that canine fatalities are scanned, identified, or the owners contacted. The Highways Agency, I was told, is currently assessing the potential merits of amending contracts to understand the implications of including mandatory identification and recording of domestic animals found on the strategic road network, including contacting pet owners where possible and advising relevant registration organisations. And again, I look forward to an update on those assessments from the Minister. And finally, I asked whether any changes are planned to the notification system for those pets killed on the strategic road network after the microchipping law comes into force in 2016. I'll give way to the Honourable Member. I'm very grateful to him giving way. Is he aware that, uh, that checks have been phased out completely in the West Midlands, that none of my constituents' pets would be, uh, would be scanned if, uh, if a tragedy like this occurred? But well, they are still taking place in other parts of the country, like Cornwall and Devon. And does he agree with us on this side that, uh, that, these, that these checks ought to be made mandatory right across the country, reintroduced for everybody? I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for making that point. I'm a member of the uh, Transport Select Committee, and I've, I've spent a lot of time with the Highways Agency looking at their contracts, particularly in Yorkshire, for the M1 and the M62, uh, their managed motorway scheme. So I'm aware of the, the new number of contracts that are coming on board for our strategic road network, and I hope his questions and my questions will be answered by the Minister shortly, so I look forward to those questions being answered. Um, the Highways Agency told me, in regards to microchipping, they're aware that the Animal Welfare Act will be amended to reflect the change to compulsory microchipping of dogs by April 2016. In advance of this change, the Highways Agency, again, I was told, are currently assessing the potential merits of amending contracts to understand the implications of including mandatory identification and recording of domestic animals found on the strategic road network, including contacting pet owners where possible and advising relevant registration organisations. 
and the Animal Welfare Act will be amended to reflect the change to compulsory microchipping of dogs by April 2016. So I've asked those questions. Uh, I'd like to thank the Minister for his replies, saying that assessments are ongoing, uh, and I hope he will be able to update all the members present uh, on those assessments uh, in a short while. And, and finally, I really do hope that the Minister, Mr Rossendale, can put many loving pet owners' minds at rest by accepting and implementing Harvey's law. I'm proud that we're a nation of animal lovers, so let's do the right and humane thing.